Meditating on the suffering of Christ, the Christians of the Holy Land celebrate two feasts in the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre related to the cross. On May the 7th, the finding of the Holy Cross by St. Helena, and on September the 14th, the exaltation of the Holy Cross. Both these events speak of the saving value of the wood of the cross on which Christ was hung. Todo o povo brasileiro da, da terra da Santa Cruz, a festa de Santa Cruz, seja a festa de hoje, seja no dia 14. For the Brazilian people, called the people of the land of the Holy Cross, today's feast and the one in September are very important, even though today's is not celebrated in Brazil or around the world. But I think the most important thing for us Christians should be our focus on the cross of the Lord, which is the door of life. A, a, a cruz do Senhor que é, é, vamos dizer a porta para a vida. Em effet, c'est la première fois, je savais que cette fête existait dans le monde latin. En France, euh, eh bien on, on It is the first time I hear about this feast in the Latin world. In France, we don't celebrate it. We know that St. Helena found the cross, so being in Jerusalem for several months, I have the good fortune of participating in this celebration and really immersing myself in the mystery of the cross today. During Vespers, I thought of this. We are saved through Jesus' cross. And it is really very important to have this sign in our midst. And it's important that we have this sign parmi us. This year, on May the 6th, the square of the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre is full of pilgrims. Even if they are not aware of what feast is being celebrated today, many groups have visited the Holy Place. At 3.30 p.m., the Franciscan friars with the Custos of the Holy Land, Father Pier Battista Pizzaballa, and the custodial vicar, Father Dobromir Jazdal, made a solemn entrance into the Basilica for the celebration of Vespers in the Grotto of the Finding of the Cross. <laughs> When the discovery of Christ's tomb and of the true cross became public in the times of St. Helena, there were many fruits. Jerusalem was filled with pilgrims, for whom venerating Calvary and the tomb was the high point of their lives. It was a stimulus to revive and strengthen their own faith, a way to renew their longing for Christ. To this day, this feast is celebrated with the same devotion and the same love. A cruz nos tem que conduzir, tem que nos levar à ressurreição. Então, eu acho que esta é uma festa é, especialmente pascal. The cross should lead us to the resurrection, so I think this is a particularly pascal feast. It is a celebration of life, of resurrection. It is important to constantly remember that life is stronger than death. A, a ressurreição está ali. A vida está, a vida é mais forte do que a morte. Bueno, ha significado, la verdad, que um grande momento esta celebração poder participar aqui. It is my first time. I experienced this with great emotion and above all with great devotion because this moment reminded us of the cross with which Jesus has set us free. It was very emotional for me and I lived out this experience with joy. I prayed for all my loved ones and also for the work of the friars of the custody. Muy emocionante y la he vivido con mucha alegría rezando por por cierto por todos los mis seres queridos, rezando también por la tarea que se aquí se realiza en los padres de la custodia. On May the 7th, the commemoration continues with a Mass celebrated in the Grotto of the Finding of the Cross. We adore you, Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by your Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. <laughs>